and welcome to Center Stage. I'm Angelina and this is Remy and today's topic I'm going to share with you 10 things you didn't know about ancient Egypt. Mm. So <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, doesn't yeah. it? And you know that's where I—that's my dream oh, yeah. um, experience—is being able to go to Egypt. They did. So mm -hmm. look for it. Yes. So, uh, but so please stay tuned, and we'll be right back. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. And so I am going to be sharing with you 10 things you may not that you may not know about ancient Egypt. And so we all know Egypt is famous for of course the pyramids, the mummies and the golden treasures. But do we really know about ancient Egypt? And I found some of these very fascinating I was not aware of. So, the first one, they did not ride camels. Oh. And, you know, because, you know, trade doing that right, every movie, every movie shows them riding camels. Ah. 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 And, you know, and although they used them, but they, they, they really never rode them right. as, you right. know, for transportation or whatever. Right. But, um... But they were not regularly used for transportation. But what they did use for transportation was donkeys and boats. Because, you know, Egypt being on the Nile, the Nile was just like a roadway. And so, so what they used for, you know, mostly used for transportation wow. was donkeys and boats. And donkeys have been, played quite a role in our world history. Yes, it sure has. Yes, the whole world. Um... And, and like I, I said before, that uh, the Nile flowed through the center, creating a natural highway. So that was, you know, that was the main source of transportation, um, of getting, you know, around. Um, number two, not everyone was mummified. Oh, wow. And, which, and I kind of knew, well, I mean, I not I... everyone was <clears throat> mummified, but I thought a great majority of of Egyptians did because of their, um, you know, it was, you know, because of their... Spiritually. Right, right. And, it, you know, and that being a, you know, very big thing. Right. But in, rea in, in actuality, um, because... You know, uh, it was a very expensive and time-consuming process, and for that reason, um, that it was really reserved for the wealthy, you know, members of society. So mm -hmm. only the wealthy, right. you know, could you know really afford right. to invest that kind of money and time in in that practice. So interestingly, um, we know that that the wealthy, but also the leaders of the, the, the you know, I mean, the people who were leading, uh -huh. you know, they had these huge, whatever you call them, funerals for them, mm -hmm. you know, the leaders, uh -huh. when they died. Uh -huh. And I always thought that that's how it was. Uh -huh. But also just any wealthy person. Mm -hmm. So we can assume then by that, um, as a little aside, that all the monies we find uh, they're all, they're a, wealth. all a bunch of rich folks. <laughs> they were. They were the okay. wealthy. They there definitely we <laughs> were the the top social standing. The of society, yes. <laughs> uh, but the vast majority of the Egypt of Egyptians were just bo uh, born. They were buried in. Uh, uh, they were buried in the desert in just simple pits. Right. So, yeah. but uh, so then on to number three. The living shared food with the dead, which I did know about yeah, this practice. Um, but uh, but tombs were designed um, really as a, as a, an eternal home, and so right. well tomb, put. huh? Well put. That's yeah. Really mm -hmm. And tomb cha uh, the tomb chapel allowed families and other you know friends of families and for priests 
to leave offerings regularly. Mm -hmm. And so there was a special room mm -hmm. within the tomb that was set up for the purpose of, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, leaving <clears throat> offerings to the gods, you know. Now my question is, mm -hmm. what did they think when they were bringing more food and the food that they brought before had not been touched? Well, I, I believe they thought that ate. that... Um, well, they knew it hadn't been eaten because, I mean, this is in a tomb. So, I mean, you know, they're not. It's just an awful. But it, I, I believe they think that, 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 that they thought that it went on to the afterlife. Okay. Like, it still appeared in that reality. Okay. But it was, I mean, the, it, it was like the, the same death. reason yeah. that, that, right. You know, that because they thought um, that, you know, that it was kind of. Kind of like another dimension, right, almost, right. you know, mm -hmm. and that so, sense, mm -hmm. yeah. or that's my belief. I, you know, no, I don't sense. know if that's my understanding. <laughs> I don't know if that's you know entirely correct. Um, but okay, off to number four. Women had equal rights with men, and that um, I had always heard that with you know so, uh, some different m material that I've read in the past. Um, but which is, but it's still very surprising because during that time period, um, you know, really, you know, all over the world and even still today, women have very few rights over men or even just, you know, equal to men. And, but in, you know, e you know, in Egypt, the Egyptian women had equal rights with men. Both had equal um, social status in the eyes of the law. So a woman could bring a case before law and, you know, just like a man. And, um, and women could own, earn, buy, and sell and inherit property. That is unreal. Mm -hmm. I have no idea that that was the And thing. they didn't have to have a male guardian uh, if they were widowed or divorced, which, um, which you know, you, I, I know a lot of that went on, um, you know, in in the past where it was required, and, and even in some, you know, religions even today that is a requirement. Um, but they didn't have to have that, or they they didn't do that. Um, and and as I mentioned before, that women could bring cases before the courts, mm -hmm. and so I mean. That's that's pretty so amazing. They had, they had legal status. Also. They did. Mm -hmm. and that is very good. Mm -hmm. and that is huge. Yep. And you know, and just the you know, them having the the right to inherit. I mean, because, oh, I know. You know, that was unheard of. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe it. It was. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was I I, I was fascinated oh, with, with that uh, bit of information. But okay, number five, um, scribes were rarely written in hieroglyphics. Oh, good. Uh-huh. And I thought that was <laughs> the <laughs> writing, uh, you know, that, that was their writing. I that thought you know, it was. Mm -hmm. But it was rarely used. And they go on to say that, you Did know... Did they use the alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's... It's beautiful to look at, but it's very, very time-consuming to create. Oh, and for that reason, it was reserved for the most important text. Mm -hmm. So, so <clears throat> this was used on tombs, mm -hmm. temple walls, and to record achievements. Mm -hmm. So, um, from different rulers, you know, they would, you know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I just always assumed that that was the only language mm -hmm. that they written language that oh, they yeah. used, you know, but it was not. Um, and um, interesting also, only about 10% of the population was literate. 10%. 10%. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, so, number wow, six, you know, I, I assumed it was as mm -hmm. well, you know. Mm -hmm. The king of, e of Egypt could be a woman. Which we all know Cleopatra, but she wasn't the only, mm -hmm. you know, uh, queen um, or king. Uh, but ideally, the king would have been um, the son of the previous king. Um, but that wasn't always possible. Uh, so there have been at least 
three occasions that women have ta a woman has taken the throne uh, something else. in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So then number seven. Few Egyptian men married their sisters. And which I knew a lot of ancestral, yeah, you know, things, you know, uh, went on during that time. Um, but uh, the marriage, but that type of marriage was not common outside of the royal family. And they mainly did that to keep the bloodline pure, you know, so. But, um, but it was a practice during that time. But number eight. Not all pharaohs built pyramids. And I just thought every pharaoh would have because that is where their bodies were buried and their, you know, their belief, you know, they could not go, you know, onto, you know, into the afterlife without wow. some type of, you know, this. But, but no, not all pharaohs built pyramids. But, um, uh, almost all pharaohs of the uh, Old and Middle Kingdom built pyramid tombs, but by the start of the New Kingdom, pyramid building was out of fashion. Mm -hmm. So, like all things, <laughs> I, it was a trend. Yeah, but look at the work and I, the money and the resources that had to go into this trend, trend. of building pyramids. Yes, I would say that was a very expensive trend. Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, and number nine, the Great Pyramid was not built by slaves. Really? Mm hmm And archaeological evidence indicates that the Great Pyramid was built by a workforce of 5,000 permanent workers and salaried employees and up to 20,000 temporary workers and the, the all the workers were free men. Wow. Mm -hmm. So they must have just been given a wage. They were given a wage. They were also paid um, with uh, food yeah. and wine and you know drink. There you go. Um, <laughs> but I mean the, the it happy was, hour. Huh? Yeah. But I mean that's just as you know it's a, another right. you know form of payment Absolutely. you know. But. Um, that is really fascinating. Uh-huh. And, and, and actually, there is, um, I've done other research on um, the Egyptian, you know, slaves or what, it, it's it's really not what I grew up right. knowing oh, or I thinking. Know. It, it's actually, and maybe I'll do something on that because it is yeah. very interesting. I always assumed that. Mm -hmm. like, but no, but it was, it was, it was made, um, it was built uh, by a workforce of Paid men, free men. So, so number ten, our last one. Cleopatra may not have been beautiful. Oh my! <laughs> the last queen of Egypt won the heart of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, but she may not have been beautiful. What makes you think that? Because her coins and. On the coins is the only, because there's not any first, uh, you know, uh, there's not any eye, uh, what was that expression? Uh, uh, eyewitness accounts, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, of, of written description of no Cleopatra. No. Right, you know, and, and not even any, you know, that during the time was written about a description of her. But what they do have are coins from her reign that have her image on them. Okay, and they say that on the coins, um, it shows her having a profile with a very prominent nose and a very pro uh, pro pronounced chin and very deep set eyes. Mm -hmm. So, but who mm -hmm. knows? Those may that may have been qualities that were That's favored right. you know, during she, that time, and maybe we just is, you know yeah. perceive them as not being a, right. a an attractive look. But you know, you know you, the thing is, is that um, <laughs> you're right. Things change. Mm -hmm. But um, so our ideal of beauty truly is. It's subjective. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, I will just add this. There was this wonderful, um, uh, I guess it was the Rod Sterling 
uh, Rod Serling's show in Twilight Zone, mm -hmm. where this woman you know, keeps having these surgeries to make her better looking. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you see the people that are there. Have you seen that one? Yeah, They're I have. Yes, I do remember hideous. that one. And the girl is beautiful. Be but, but she, right. different mm -hmm. than they are. And they uh -huh. see the beauty. Mm -hmm. That is a great, yes. great one to watch. Uh-huh. It is. It's going for children to uh -huh. see the beauty. Because uh -huh. it's really... It is. Know, it, it's, it's just a, it's a it's perception. And, yeah. you know... Perceptions but, uh, are guided, mm -hmm. but still it's us. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's subject to interpretation. Absolutely. So it's, you know, Golly. not well, everyone think, finds beautiful what I, I find highly that's beautiful. Right. I so. remember my mother saying, honey, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yes. And I said, but mom, I want to be beautiful to everyone who beholds me. <laughs> <laughs> I used to tell her that as a gift. Uh -huh. I want to be beautiful to everybody mm -hmm. who beholds me. And she yep. said, oh, she just kind of <laughs> roll her eyes at that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, well, we appreciate you joining us today, and have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and please do not forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.